this is Kim Albion bringing you your B2B Marketing Minute. In this one, I, I want to relate to it, something that happened to me today um, and have you think about it as it comes to what kind of fields and what kind of information do you ask for in your forms and when do you do that? Because you should never ask for more than you can uh, reasonably expect given the relationship that you have. So I got an email this morning which is about a report um, that was interesting to me. Uh, because of a client that we might be working with with some of their marketing on a new product launch. And I, um, and so we looked at, I looked at it and I thought, hey, I want that report. So I went out to get the report and the landing page, here's what they said and I'll read it to you. Complete and verifiable information is required in order to receive this report. And then they go on to ask for my first name, my last name, my email address, all of which I'm fine about giving them. Then they ask for my phone number, my fax number, my address, street, city, state, zip, the whole nine yards, right? And then the size of my company, um, on and on and on. And you have to give all this information. So I'm okay with telling them who I am, the name of our company, and my email address. That, no problem, right? But then when it gets to the phone and the fax and the address, they don't have any right to ask for that information. Too much, right? I don't even know who these guys are. They have gotten me curious with their with their white paper um, that they're offering, right? And so that's what I want to go get. So I just tried, I just entered in our area code followed by 555-1212 and 555-1213 for the zip code, or for the, sorry, for the um, fax number. Um, totally made up my address, used my correct zip code, but gave a completely bogus city um, and, and stuff like that. So I just, comp you know, so that's what I did. So I hit submit. The only thing they didn't like was a phone number. So I changed the phone number to a different number, just didn't use 555-1212, still made the thing up completely and submitted it and it took it. So now um, that database, whoever gets that lead, is gonna have completely bogus information for me. Now here's the thing to think about. <laughs> Anybody can do this. First of all, their claim that it had to be complete and verifiable in order for me to receive the white paper was BS. So it wasn't true. Don't state things that aren't true because it was kind of like I dare you, you know, when you're completing the form. So that's one piece. The second piece is just think about it. Do you really want to have bad information for the people that you're grabbing lead information for? It makes it really hard to do a data cleanse and a cleanup effort. Whereas if you only have partial information and you want to do an appender, to that information, to append the right information that you don't have, that's a fairly easy thing to do from a lot of services that are available today. So I would challenge you um, and challenge your the powers that be in your organizations, because this comes up a lot, you don't need to get everything. You need to get, the one thing they could actually verify was the email address because they sent me an email in order for me to go download the report, right? Now. Right after I got that report and downloaded it, I also received an email from the organization who sponsored the mailing, which was a, a, an analyst report that they were sending. But I got an email, it was a great email. Now from there, if I get engaged with them, then they could ask me for more information and my address or my phone number and, and add on additional information because as you, if you do it progressively like that, you're earning the right and the trust to ask for that information, right? So. B2B marketing automation tip of the day in this marketing automation minute is do not ask for any more information than you have the right to ask for. Then nurture those leads, grow that relationship, and develop the right, develop the relationship so that you can ask for that information progressively. All right, thanks a lot. That's all there is for today. Here's to your B2B online marketing. Business.